So this is your last call. We're going to be looking at 801, Banshee, Zer, and Eververse all in that order. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Other than that, it's going to be looking at Burguzian Knight. Burguzian Knight is probably one of my favorite purples in the game. Not the best purple, but one of my personal favorites in the game. We have Kairos Black again. I am not the biggest fan of this just because of the Kaka Green. We have New Monica Regalia. I love this shader. It's super, super dope. So I definitely would recommend this shader. More so for plate armor, not so much for uh, cloth armor. And then for the armors, we're going to be looking at all of these. These are world, world drops. I definitely think the Titan is the best set. But for the Hunters, the helmet's pretty cool. The chest piece is definitely the coolest piece the arms are decent the boots unfortunately don't change that like bandage white does not change colors and then the cloak is okay titans i think everything but the mark is super dope i definitely recommend all of it and then for the warlocks um the helmet and the chest piece i think are the coolest pieces not saying the arms and boots are bad they're actually pretty cool but they do look kind of boring and then the bond is pretty trash as for banshee we're going to be looking at Luna Lunalata Lunalata yeah Lunalata 4B with no distractions and headstone I would prefer something other than no distraction I feel like for personally me I don't like no distraction to be honest I'm kind of biased on it because uh what is it Izanagi's got no distractions and I wait what did it get is I'm pretty sure it got it and ever since then no distractions has been just a terrible taste in my mouth uh timelines vertex with field prep and elemental capacitor Ostring with Compulsive Reloader and Frenzy, uh, Syncopation with Steady Hands and Frenzy, and then Code Dulo with Field Prep and Last Impressions. Actually, if this was literally anything else, I t would tell you to pick this up. I do like C Code Dulo quite a bit, so I don't know. I, I, I personally really like Lasting Impressions, especially on a Hunter, especially on a melee build because it, it lets me utilize that, but... That's pretty much it. Remember that these two are red border weapons. So if you are interested to get these, definitely get them. As for Zer, he's in the Winding Cove on the EDZ, currently selling the Curse of Osiris planetary armor, specifically Mercury, if I remember correctly. I could. No, this is it. I'm pretty sure this is it. I'm going to have to go to collections to, for me to see the Titans in Warlock because it's been a while since I've seen this armor. Um, I don't. Off the top of my head, I can tell you right now, I'm not the biggest fan of the Warlocks. Titans have like one or two pieces that I'm like, this is dope. And then uh, other than that, I'm like, whatever's on all of it pretty much. So I actually can't even find this armor, which is funny because, um, oh, it's right here. So for, let's go start with the hunters. Hunters, I, I don't like the helmet. Um, I don't like the cloak. And I think the only pieces that I really do like are the boots, the arms and the chest piece, which is a lot. But to be fair, I like them for a specific reason. Like the arms, I think it's the asymmetry is pretty cool. The like this specifically, like it looks pretty cool. The boots I've used in quite a few, quite a few sets from like the first few years that I started doing this channel. Um, the only thing is I've, I would, I would have, I would have ratted there have used the like, uh, the vanguard version of it just because i felt like that one was a little bit cooler specifically the visual of heroes so i feel like the visual of heroes uh set is the superior version of this armor so just be aware of that for the titans i think the arms are super dope the chest piece is super dope and that is really it i think the helmet is unique i just don't like it and if i remember correctly that plate doesn't change color i could be wrong about that but there that is um boots and the mark are the only things that i'm like whatever's on and then Warlocks, yeah, I'm not a big fan of literally any of it. I think the Bond is interesting enough to get it, but Helmet, I think, is, is straight up trash. I think the arms are okay. I think the chest piece is really bad, and the boots are also really bad. If you want a superior version of that, you definitely want to get the Vigil of Heroes suit better. It's just better. Like, you don't have the weird, intricate designs, and the boots and the arms are definitely the best pieces, but the chest piece is, like, okay, considering that, like, the shoulder armor the plate armor thing is like like floating it's not attached to anything at least that's how it is for the curse of osiris looking one but let me know what you guys think i'm yeah again i'm not the biggest fan of this armor so i'm not really going to talk too much shit about it but let's just say it's not my taste as for the weapons we have whispering slab with hit fire grip and opening shot wolf tone draw with threat detector and frenzy if i remember correctly this is for the the one from season of the lost which it is i think so I definitely like this one. It's a precision frame. Um, so there that is. It does have a draw time, which is pretty cool. But 
and and polymer string so get that draw time even lower uh i don't know i frenzy I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of frenzy i just hate proccing it because sometimes i'm in combat but the game's like no you're not uh we have volpiculo with encore and dadagio i'm just gonna ignore that the number which is mm, surplus and high impact reserve i'm gonna ignore that explosive personality this is a red border weapon so if you want this definitely get it because it is a really good pvp weapon uh, Temptations hook with relentless strikes and on guard. Ignore this. We have a sword right now that, to be fair, I'm not the biggest fan of caster frames just because they're not that good. But if you want a good caster frame, we do have like two this season. And then threaded needle with auto loading holster and Vorpal, which is not bad actually. The unfortunate thing is uh, Vorpal only does, uh, does 10%? No, either 10 or 5%. I don't remember off the top of my head. But. It's not enough, especially since we actually have a really good uh, heavy uh, linear fusion rifle right now from this season. So that's going to be the best one for it just because you can craft it and it has actually good weapon uh, rolls. So I would tell you, you can ignore this one. As for the exotics, we have Hawkmoon with snapshot sights and then Cold Heart, which this is a year one weapon, dog. This is the original um, like pre-order weapon because... Yeah, I was using this back in the day, and this used to fuck up Callus, bro. This is such a long time ago. Well, Celestial, which I've been using quite a bit after it's buffed, just because it's been a lot of fun, and Celestial just does high damage, and now you can use it without the super and not feel guilty, which is super great. Syntheseps with, I don't know, mm, three resilience is pretty terrible, so I would probably skip this personally, but if you don't have it, definitely pick it up. And fellow winters lie with pretty decent rolls, not gonna lie. Discipline's pretty low, but I don't really care. Um, mobility's pretty high, but at the same time, again, I don't care. I would probably just bump up that recovery to a plus 10, so that way I can have 15 and 20, just because uh, resilience is at 15, 17. After mass work, it's fine, personally. So let's actually see what I pick up. Renewed grasps. Um, all right, well, I guess we can go to Eververse, because I don't. I'm not gonna look what I, what it is, even though it's probably it's probably trash. Let's be real. So I actually did get a pretty good renewal grasp, 23 resil resilience and recovery at 17. I would probably bump up that recovery to a 17, or just you uh, use the plus 10 on the resilience, so I, that way I can get a 33. It'll be a 35 once master work, and then just uh, increase my recovery from another um, what uh, another armor piece, and then that'd be fine. So pretty interesting. I definitely will keep that one. So for Eververse, we have Noble Rhyme, which, oh, that purple is, I think, the off color, maybe. It definitely looks pretty cool. It looks like, yeah, it's like, if, it look it looks pretty cool. I'm sorry, I'm, just, I'm like thinking of two shaders that it kind of looks like a combo of, but it's mostly just, you yeah. know, this looks pretty cool. <laughs> Let's just say that. Uh, shark Bite, ooh, ha, ha, I don't know. Uh, I don't hate it, actually. Uh, it's it's pretty good we have sweet entrance we have silver wing kestrel which yeah whatever uh, turbulent weather and the stuff at the bottom we have cheer spreader which is just a shader difference again I will always be that person that if we get an, an exotic ornament and it's just a shader change i will say it's a ripoff because quite frankly we should we should have had the ability to shader our exotics a long time ago specifically weapons and shit because this is ridiculous um we have super cool motto or moto which i still think this looks pretty cool so much so that i definitely want to pick it up uh we have filigree rover she like looks like whatever to be quite honest cygnus shell which i definitely think this is a new one from this season just because this is literally the helmet that the titans got uh fallen flurries which whatever we have uh no yes sneaky thief there we go which i still wonder if this is a um what should we call it what's it called um a grinch meme or reference snowy entrance yeah howling blizzard 
We have Shower of Gifts. And then for the other shaders, Donnie Mirth, which we got last week. But if you didn't get it last week, this is your... I don't know. If, I want to say your last chance because I don't think they're going to settle it a third time. But you might never know. Uh, Shark Bite, again. I'm just going to skip that one. Donning Hope. I like this shader quite a bit. It's a pretty good gold. And it has like... Almost like... It has a, it has a, a, a pattern to it, which is pretty... Oh, excuse me. Pretty cool. And then Donning Brilliance, which I like this shader quite a bit. Super dope shader. Definitely looks cool with this. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, this armor set will be showcased on the, what's that armor called? The Worm Guard Hunter set. This is one of the sets that I made for it and I absolutely love it. I'm also thinking about making a, a video about showing you all my loadout and the, the like armor sets uh, incorporated with those because they are different, like specifically like this one. I just made this one because of, of the fact that this exotic is getting a new ornament, ornament soon and it's this right here definitely think it's really cool the exotic ornament video is still gonna come it's just again I just have so much content to go through and I've been working a lot more on my job so that's why I haven't been posting as much because once I got home I mean I'm actually pretty tired from just like mentally just selling and shit so I do apologize that the videos are not being pushed out as much as I would like because again I'd want like two videos a day personally but I don't have an editor. I'm the one who edits all my videos. I, like it takes a while for me because I am a one man show. So I really appreciate you guys coming to this point. Be safe. I will see you guys later.